Hi guys, this is Maverick Pod, the chemistry guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2019 A-Levels H2 Chemistry Paper 1 Question 8. Alright, Question 8 goes something like this. The S and P block elements in period 4 show a similar pattern of properties to the elements in period 3. So on this basis, which predictions can be made about the physical properties of element 32, germanium? So we are given four options involving the melting point and the electrical conductivity, high melting point versus low melting point, insulator versus semiconductor. So the first thing that we will have to do, obviously, is to look at germanium, element 32, and we see which group this guy is in, right? So we can refer to the data booklet or the periodic table, no problem. We should be able to find germanium under group 14. So what this means is this element will be in the same group as carbon, as silicon. So in terms of the properties, it will be similar as compared to silicon. Now, usually we will assume this to be the case. If they are in the same group, then they will have the tendency to gain or lose the same number of electrons. So in terms of reactivity, it will be similar. In terms of the physical and chemical properties, it would also be similar. In fact, this idea is being reinforced here. The question already mentioned that the elements in period 4 and the elements in period 3, they will have similar pattern of properties. So effectively, this is a periodicity question because under the topic on periodicity, we actually focus on period 3 elements. So what we will do is, since you tell me the period 4 elements and period 3 elements will have similar properties, so I'll just apply whatever that I've learned for period 3 elements, and I apply this to period 4. So effectively, what we would be doing in this case is we learn the property for silicon under periodicity. We know that silicon it is a semiconductor with a very high melting point. So we would expect germanium to be essentially the same because this information is already given inside this question. So if I compare melting point, we will choose the high melting point versus the low melting point because silicon it exists as a drier molecule. In fact, if I consider carbon, carbon as an element, it will either exist as graphite or diamond. So all these elements involving carbon will also have very high melting point or they exist as giant molecules. So carbon it is a giant molecule, silicon it is a giant molecule. So expected germanium will also be a giant molecule. So the melting point is expected to be high. So the answer will be between A and B. Now electrical conductivity, we will have to try to extend this idea from silicon. So given in the question, period four elements and period three elements will have similar properties. So since silicon, it is a semiconductor, then we would expect germanium to be also a semiconductor. So between options A and B, then B will be a much better answer involving the electrical conductivity for germanium, it should be a semiconductor. So this question is very, very straightforward. You can do this under like 30 seconds. So obviously the answer to this question will be option B. All right, so that was the discussion involving question A, which is a very straightforward question on periodicity. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.